Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about three complaints that I got. Two of them on Poshmark and one of them on eBay. Some of these are extremely strange and some and two of these are actually what would you do? So let's get this video started. So the first complaint is going to be on Poshmark and the first complaint is for a pair of pants. Now this is a little strange because I ended up getting rated. I just checked and the rating is gone. So I have no idea, but here, let me put this complaint on the screen for you and let me know what you guys think. The complaint goes as follows. I received the item with a broken zipper. It is not usable and I would like to request a refund for the purchase. And then I replied saying, you have accepted the order, so there is nothing we can do at this point. You're more than welcome to reposh the item. However, your false rating is wrong. Zipper was working fine. Have a great day. So like I said guys, the rating is gone, so I can't show you the initial complaint, but thankfully I did screenshot it. So here's a screenshot about what her rating actually was. So this was the actual comment that she said after giving me a one star. Could improve other. The order arrived very quickly, but the zipper on the pants was broken. There is no way that these are wearable in that condition. I will be seeking a refund for this purchase. Now, if you guys don't know, on Poshmark, once you rate, there is nothing you can do. It's virtually impossible to get a return on Poshmark after you've rated, which I've never heard of that. But this buyer was saying that the zipper did not work on these pants. These were an, a $15 pair of pants. And I don't know. I just don't know. So after that, I saw that and then I sent the message that, you, that I read to you guys earlier. And yeah, there's nothing she can do. After this, I just realized that the rating is gone. So I don't know if Poshmark took the rating down. I don't know if she took the rating down. But either way, yeah, there's nothing you can do. I just, I just said it that way. And you know, I did it as polite as possible. And I think that was pretty polite. <laughs> Next, we go into another Poshmark complaint. Well, not really complaint, but more like a what would you do situation. And this is a, for a Carhartt rain jacket. And this was a very expensive jacket. And I got the order late night, probably like around close to 11 or midnight. And then when I woke up in the morning to go to work, boom, they, I get a message, not a cancellation request, a message. And the message said this, hi, can I have this order canceled? I placed it by mistake, thanks. What do you think I said, guys? What do you think I said? Do you think I accept that, that a cancellation request? Uh-uh. This is what I responded with. Hello, the package has already been shipped. There's nothing I can do at this point. You always, you're always more than welcome to reposh the item and sell it yourself. Thank you. Since then, I did not hear nothing back. Now, what I did do was, as soon as I got that message, I honestly ignored it. I ignored it until it was time to ship it out. I shipped that out good, packaged that good, and took it straight to the post office. Once I did that, I sent that message. It was for a $100 Carhartt jacket. And... I was not gonna let $100 go by like that. If they would've sent the cancellation request, then yes, I would've accepted it. But when they just sent a message, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. If they if they go through the proper channels, I'll do it. But since they didn't, I still shipped it out, then I messaged the, the buyer that. And item got delivered quickly, and the order actually completed way faster than I expected. I think if it completed within a day or two, and I don't know if the the buyer didn't rate me because that rating is not even there. So, I mean, that's cool. But what would you guys have done? Would you guys have packaged this item and sent it out? Or would you have basically lost on a $100 sale and accepted that cancellation request? This person was a seller themselves. And yeah, I don't know. That's what I did. Would you guys have done the same thing that I did? Let me know in the comments below. And the last one that I got for you guys is an eBay complain or another what would you do situation and also this is actually to inform you on what you should and shouldn't do actually and this is for an ebay item that i sent out customer lived extremely close to me it should have been delivered within two days because it was first class and i got a message from the buyer saying that they received a message saying that the order is being returned to me i looked at the tracking and yes the tracking said it was getting returned to me so i checked again but I sent them this first. I sent them, I see that it was returned to sender. Give it a day or so and see if it gets delivered. If not, I'll check when it gets returned to me and we'll go from there. I'll keep you updated. And that's exactly what I told the buyer. But after that, the buyer kept saying, but I never received the package. And then I had to reply again saying, I know, sometimes tracking show as return to sender, but gets delivered the next day. 
If it's returned to me, I'll resend it to you. I see no reason why they would return it back to me. The address on file is correct, right? And that's what I asked them. And all the buyer said was, okay, thanks. And after that, I checked the next day. And guess guess what, guys? It was returned. It was, it was actually delivered to the buyer. So moral of the story is, if it does say return to sender, and there was nothing before that, that showed that it was either attempted to be delivered or anything at all that shows that it was being attempted, then give it a day or two. More than likely, it's going to get delivered, just like it happened in my case. I didn't follow up with the buyer. The buyer never messaged me, so I'm pretty sure that everything went okay. So, for those situations, guys, what would you have done? For that zipper one, for the pants, there's nothing you can really do once the buyer rated you, of course. The Carhartt jacket, would you guys have risked that $100 sale on a possible return, even though knowing for Poshmark, it's kind of hard for, for buyers to return something unless you did something extremely wrong. But would you guys have shipped it out, do the exact same thing that I did, and sent that $100 item to a buyer? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And then for my third item, what would you guys have done? Would you guys have just given them a refund, waited for the item to return, or both. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But the reason I'm not showing the names of the last two for the Carhartt and the third item is because they did nothing wrong. They were generally curious as to what happened. And then the second one, I don't think they were trying to scam me. I think they were, maybe they realized they probably paid too much for something and were just trying to cancel. But at the same time, you know, business is business. They bought something. It takes a lot to actually get to the checkout process. So that's the reason I didn't do it. But what you guys have done? But the first one I am revealing because that was completely unfair. You know, the zip, the zipper on those pants work. I don't know, but what can you do? But yeah, guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I hope you enjoyed this one. These were three stories of stuff that happened to me in the last couple, in the last month, actually. I have not been as active as I would like to on the reselling platforms because I've been focusing more on whatnot. And I might be coming out for the video for my third auction results, or maybe my fourth one because that one is the one I'm focusing on more but yeah uh stay updated guys uh thank you for watching i truly do appreciate it as always stay safe take care and i'll see you for the next one guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below remember to subscribe and like this video bye